If the two marks were asked to reflect the triangle in the line x is 1, so we're going to draw the line x equal 1, x equaling 1 is a vertical straight line there, all the points where the x coordinate is 1, and we're just going to reflect that. So this point here is no distance away from here, so it will stay. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, so it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Join up the dots here carefully and you have done your reflection in the line x is equal to 1, nice and straightforward. Be careful not to do it in the line y is 1, obviously. Be careful to check it's the line x is 1. How do we know that? Well, all these coordinates have x coordinate 1. Yeah, for example, these, all of these, so therefore it's the line x is 1. This one here, rotate the triangle, so it's a rotation, through 180 degrees about the origin. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our tracing paper over it and draw this triangle here. Then what, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, our centre of rotation is here, so we're going to put our pencil on the origin as so, hold it down there, and we're going to rotate 180. Now it doesn't say which way, but anti-clockwise or clockwise, 180 is half a turn, so you'll end up in the same place. So we do, there's half a turn, there's, sorry, quarter of a turn, and there's half a turn, and that's where it will end up being, like that. And just to show you, it doesn't matter if you did it the other way as well, there would be a quarter of a turn, and there would be half a turn, you'd end up in the same place. And what you do then is you make sure you label these coordinates here, you take away your tracing paper and then you draw in the uh, the image of the reflection and you're done.